Dirty Water TV is brewed in part by the famous Narragansett Beer, New England's own local beer that captured the bronze medal at the 2008 World Beer Cup. Also brought to you by NightlifeNetwork.com. Fun jobs for fun people. The place where people meet. Located at 2 Broad Street in Boston. By Higgs Tickets, your ticket to the best ticket in town. And by the greatest bar. Celebrating the greatest people, places, and moments that make Boston legendary. Hey everyone, I'm Jennifer Manley. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. Hi, how are you doing? I'm Christian Fourier. And we're at the Chatham Squire. And Chatham, Jen. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> See and how that we are joined out for me? now by Heather Wysocki, and she is a Cape Cod nightlife expert. Tell us about this. Okay, well, I write a blog for the Cape Cod Times, which is our newspaper down here, about nightclubs and bars and the best place to get a martini, all sorts of things like that. Basically what you're here down, down here for. So, best beach bar. Best beach bar. Okay. My pick is the Boathouse. That's down in Falmouth. It's right on the water, beautiful Falmouth Harbor, all those big yachts that I could never afford. <laughs> and um, you can get a beer. Basically, just throw a t-shirt on over your bikini or your sports shorts and uh, just go right straight there. You wear Speedos. Well, I kind of knew that, you can tell. <laughs> the other one you might want to try is uh, Trader Ed's that's down in Hyannis, also, also on a marina. Same thing, you know, you can go down there some nights. It gets pretty wild. I've heard, I've, I've heard rumors of wet t-shirt contests, but don't tell them I said that. Oh, Christian and I will I'm be there. I'm not even focused anymore yeah. I've heard wet t-shirt Christian contests. Christian and I, we're actually going to be there July 10th. And we are going to be there July 10th. So listen, Heather, if I want to find a real, like a townie bar, an old grizzled fisherman, you know, telling some war stories about catching a whale or harpooning <laughs> some kind of tuna, where can I go for that? Well, you started at a great place. The Squire is pretty much a good spot to come for that. People come here basically um, who live right down the street. They've been, their grandparents probably came here. This is a good place to start. But if you want to get even closer to the water, get that, you know, the guy with the yellow fisherman's cap on, you want to hit at the Land Ho in Orleans. They even have that. Land Ho! <laughs> And th they even have that guy on their sign. A uh, great place. They have newspapers from years and years back on the walls. They have pretty much the best uh, stuffies, the stuffed quahogs you're ever going to find. And uh, they do some crazy karaoke down there. And I don't know if you've ever seen a fisherman do karaoke, but it can get pretty uh, interesting. <laughs> Probably sounds like Jen. <laughs> I'm going to let that one go for now. <laughs> Anyways, when you're out drinking in the summer, Live music, you gotta have it. Where do you go? You gotta have live music. Well, first of all, you wanna go down to another beach bar, actually. Probably my favorite beach bar. Uh, it's called the Wealthy Beachcomber. It's even further down than you are tonight. And um, great. We are far down tonight. You are very far down tonight. But great music, both live local bands, and they also have some uh, fairly nationally known bands. I think in August, the Whalers from Bob Marley and the Whalers are coming down. And um, I don't know if everyone knows the Pixies. They had a song in Fight Club, that movie Fight Club, all that. And um, their lead singer, uh, Black Francis, I think his real name's Frank Black, something. But he's going to be down in July. So a lot of times they get some pretty great bands down there. $10, $15 right on the sand, you know, get one of those Sex on the Beach drinks or one of those. You can't really go with anything less, wow. but, uh... <laughs> all right, well, Dirty Water is going to be all over the Cape, and we've asked our expert, and now Christian's going to go out to the bar and find out from the locals what they think the best Cape Cod nightlife spot is. The best bar to party in at the Cape. The Squire, I would say. Oh, you're getting free drinks? They're giving you free drinks, aren't they? I agree with you. You know, I, I've really been thinking about this question a lot in the past 30 seconds, but I'd have to say that it's probably the Squire. It must be the bird on the sign. I think that's what it is. Squire. I seriously blow every single dollar of my paycheck at the Squire. Everybody says the Squire. All right, what's number two so we can give our, some of our fans a little bit of variety? Number two, Chatham, I'd say the Red Nun, or the Irish Pub in Dennis. I would say the Land Ho in Orleans. Where can I go to find the best party? Uh, the best party you can find in um, Hyannis or right here. British Beer Works, maybe. Uh, I'm thinking right about here is a really good place. What about the proper with Jim Plunkett? He's like 80 years old, but he still rocks. So. Christian rocks. I miss him. I wish he was still playing for the Patriots. Lighthouse Beach, right on the water. Yeah. So do you guys ever do any like late night walks on the beach, barefoot, holding your man's hand, that type of thing? You're not supposed to, but do bonfires. Bonfires, definitely. <laughs> You're not supposed to. That's tonight's big ticket brought to you by Higgs Tickets. Now here's what else is going on around town. A 
Up next, fashionista Lisa Donovan gives us a passport to style, and Ashley Daly hooks up with the socks. That's all when Dirty Water TV returns.